Now, let us try to understand voltage regulation in order to draw sorry, external characteristics and internal characteristics. For example, if I say again voltage regulation only, okay, if I have resistance reactance connected, okay, now if this, this is going to be current, now this is some R here, some X here and this is maybe VA here and this is VB here, VB here, okay. Now for example, for example, if it is operating at lagging power factor, if it is operating at lagging power factor, under that condition if I fix VA, if I fix VA, VB value will be less, okay. Now if I think of, if I think of for example leading power factors, if it is operating at leading, okay under that condition if i fix va vb value will be more vb value will be more okay now let us think of let us think of applying the same across primary leakage impedance for example this is r1 this is x1 and this is going to be v1 and this is going to be e1 okay in the sense let me consider exact equivalent circuit exact equivalent circuit under that conditions what will happen here i have to keep the shunt branch okay because till now what we used to think we used to think that operating flux of transformer is going to be constant okay now to be precise to be precise whether the transformer operating flux is constant or variable let us see to be precise to be precise okay now if i see here at uh, leading condition this voltage will increase at lagging condition this voltage will reduce so voltage across the shunt branch reduce okay for example if it is operating at lagging conditions okay red color if it is operating at lagging conditions at lagging conditions even magnitude will reduce okay so even magnitude reduce what about e1 by f reduce if e1 by f reduce what about my operating flux reduce reduce now if you think of for example for example my e1 increase why at leading power factors at leading power factors e1 increase means that e1 by f increase means that operating flux increase okay but this variation is going to be much less why again from old story if you start Leakage is going to be leased because of, because of lack of air gap. Leakage is leased. Leakage flux is leased. Leakage reactance is leased. Leakage impedance is leased. So voltage drop across leakage impedance is leased means that voltage variations across the shunt branch is going to be leased. Okay. Means that, means that the moment voltage variations is going to be leased, we may consider, I repeat, we may consider those voltage variations are not happening by neglecting those small, small voltage variations. Under that conditions only, I can say transformer is having constant flux. Okay. But to be precise, to be precise, at lagging power factor condition, my operating flux of a transformer reduces. At leading power factor, operating flux of the transformer increases. Now, if you think of core loss component, for example, now E1 increase, E1 by F increase, Pi max increase, Pi max increase means that B max increase. Okay, if B max increase, if B max increase at leading conditions, if B max increase means what about the area of BH? Area of BH increase. If area of BH increase, hysteresis loss, hysteresis loss increase. Okay, now the moment E1 increase, the moment E1 increase, AD current loss, the moment E1 increase, AD current loss increase, means that total core loss increases slightly. Okay, now if you think of, for example, at lagging conditions, at lagging conditions E1 is going to reduce, E1 by F is going to reduce, operating flux is going to reduce, if operating flux pi max reduce, automatically B max reduce. If B max reduces, hysteresis loss or area of BH is going to reduce. Okay. Now, if you think of AD, sorry, E1 reduces, E1 reduces, automatically AD current loss reduces, our core loss is going to reduce. Okay. Of course, in uh, gate exam, depending upon these questions also, they gave. Okay. Now, point is very simple. What is that? Though we say under normal conditions, operating flux of transformer is constant, but to be precise, is it constant? No. To be precise, it is not constant. Why? Because at lagging conditions, if I fix V1, 
okay because v1 is going to be infinite source okay if v1 is infinite source at lagging conditions my voltage across the shunt branch is going to reduce voltage across the shunt branch reduces automatically v by f reduces okay so automatically v by f uh, proportion like v by f ratio reduces automatically operating flux reduces automatically hysteresis loss reduces automatically eddy current loss reduces getting my point right and if you think of r not x not variations because my shunt branch is it linear branch no 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 it's non linear okay so the moment for example at lagging conditions red right? at lagging conditions means e1 reduces okay if e1 reduces e1 by f reduces b max is going to reduce so from non linear region you are coming towards linear region means that r not and x not values has to increase parameter variation should increase because if i think of for example okay so under normal conditions at no load condition b max is here at no load condition b max is here now at loaded condition at loaded condition what will happen let me think of black at loaded condition at lagging power factor loaded condition my b max will slightly reduce if slightly reduces slightly reduces automatically it is coming from non linear region towards linear region towards linear region means that my parameter variations or parameter values are going to increase okay for example if i think of leading condition okay so if i think of leading condition what will happen at leading condition my voltage is going to increase v by f is going to increase b max is going to increase in the sense from uh, no load condition it will slightly increase to this side okay slightly increase to this side b max means that it is going towards more non linearity under that condition what will happen my r not and x not values will reduce okay shunt branch uh, parameter values are going to reduce okay already we have seen long back what is that means from non linear if you come towards linear region my impedance values are going to increase from non linear if you go still more non linear still more non linear my impedance parameter values are going to reduce okay but again let us come back okay because of lack of air gap leakage is going to be less leakage flux is going to be less leakage reactance is going to be less leakage impedance is going to be less okay so the moment leakage impedance is going to be least in transformer among all other ac machines automatically voltage drop across leakage impedance is going to be less if voltage drop across leakage impedance is less under that condition voltage variations are going to be less okay so by not considering those voltage variations only r not and x not values are going to be constant okay now by not considering those voltage variations only operating flux of a transformer is going to be constant by not considering those voltage variations only core loss of transformer is going to be constant okay core loss ct is loss and eddy current loss okay to be precise they are going to vary for sure okay so to be precise my core loss will increase at leading power factors okay and if you think of at leading power factors e1 is going to increase e1 by f is going to increase b max is going to increase area of bh is going to increase ct is also going to increase and eddy current loss independent of frequency will be decided by voltage only so the moment voltage magnitude increase automatically eddy current loss increase total core loss should increase okay now r not and x not values will reduce okay because the moment at leading condition if you are going towards non linear region under that condition r not and x not values will reduce now i means if you think of lagging power factors at lagging power factors what is happening at lagging power factors this voltage is going to reduce v by f is going to reduce e1 by f is going to reduce b max is going to reduce operating flux is going to reduce area of bh is going to reduce ct loss are going to reduce as e1 reduces eddy current loss independent of frequency will be decided by voltage only that voltage also has to reduce okay means that means that eddy current loss are going to reduce total core loss are going to reduce the moment b max reduces okay towards linear region it will roll towards the re linear region meaning that my r not and x not values are going to increase see this voltage gate question the core flux of a practical transformer with a resistive load so this is going to be practical transformer if you see the options he is strictly constant with load changes okay so actually he is warning you not to select option a because it is saying strictly constant in the sense see here the core flux of a practical transformer He is strictly constant when load changes, so you are not supposed to take go through it. Increases linearly with load, increases as the square root of the load, decreases with increased load. Okay, answer should be decreases with increased load.
because resistive nature resistive nature in this is voltage regulation is going to be positive already we have seen our voltage regulation characteristic okay so voltage regulation at unity power factor this is unity power factor voltage regulation is going to be positive okay in the sense for example if i think of resistance reactance okay so if it is operating at unity power factor unity power factor if it is v1 if it is e1 okay so the moment voltage regulation is positive meaning that compared to v1 e1 value will be less if e1 is less okay let us think of this is the shunt branch now if e1 value is less okay if keep on load uh, magnitude of current is increased e1 will keep on reduce if e1 keep on reduce e1 by f reduce operating flux reduce storage so decreases with increased load is right okay at any cost we should not say is strictly constant with load changes because in this of course that particular variations normally we neglect in transformer but when specifically they ask to see the core flux of a practical transformer is strictly constant strictly constant is not strictly constant okay